this doesn't make any sense, okay? So, hello everyone, Ruffle Rallet here, welcome to a brand new video. So this makes no sense to me, right? So I'm sitting here, uh, finally got my internet back, my internet's been down the whole day. Essentially, I've been able to do nothing, I've just been on my shitty little phone watching YouTube videos, uh, through like, you know, mobile internet, which is, by the way, barely working either. So yeah. Shitty internet, not really making my life easy, but back to what we're talking about. So, I saw these tweets early this morning before my internet went away, and I didn't know what it was all about, but somebody tweeted me saying, you know, um, hey, uh, do you think that this could mean something? Why would they make it another commercial for a two-year-old video game? And then there's a tweet here, and there is a tweet where Masuda says, what TVCM was made this year too? Happy, if you haven't played yet, be sure to check it out. Official Pokemon Let's Go Beach, Let's Go Eevee, uh, Eevee TVCM Christmas version. Which is just a commercial for Pokemon Let's Go Beach, Let's Go Eevee. Which doesn't make any sense, because this was released on December 11th. Why? That's the big question, why? Like, why would you release a commercial for a game that's been out for two years already? Why? It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like, are you trying to appeal to, like parents to buy this game for their kids i mean wouldn't they have already done it at this point i'm just confused i'm really trying to understand why they would post this like why i'm just so lost and people are making jokes over here like uh they had us in the first half i'm not gonna lie let's go Pichu, let's go meryl uh Pichu, let's go meryl what else, who else thought this was an ad for let's go johto or something uh 2020 christmas commercial of a 2018 stonks i suppose i just don't understand like, I just don't understand. What's the point? I mean, have they done this before? I cannot recall if they've done this before. I don't think they do a lot of this, usually. This is just so random. Like, wouldn't you... Like, think about this for a minute. Why would you promote this when you just had a freaking... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You just had Sword and Shield DLC release. Why would you promote this? Wouldn't you promote Sword and Shield and the DLC, which is probably going to make you more money, right, than Let's Go is? Because I'm pretty sure Let's Go is a little bit cheaper now than the full price. I think it's not full price anymore. Is it still full price? If they're still charging full price for that shit, I am genuinely pissed off. But I feel like, you know, there's no reason to promote Let's Go. There's also less money to be made from Let's Go. They make more money from Sword and Shield. So why promote Let's Go? I am utterly lost right now. I want to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comment section. Why do you think they did this? Like, why do you think... This? And this kind of is funny that this comes up because I covered something yesterday in a video. Uh, there was a pretty big rumor saying we're going to get a Let's Go game, but no date on when we might get it. You know, we got that as well mentioned, which is fair enough. But then I'm just wondering, whoa, whoa, what's the purpose of this? What's the point of this? And they're still selling at full price, by the way. So look at that, 5,980 yen. They're still selling it full price, and even the Pokeball Plus? Are they crazy? Like, this, who does Nintendo think they are? Like, this is Nintendo's choice here. This is not Pokemon Company. I mean, they probably also want to make a bunch of cash, but this is a Nintendo thing. They do this with all of their games. Like, they can be all the shit, but they still want to charge full price, which I think is bullshit. Every other company charges less. Like, you know... Literally, this is why I prefer PC gaming for the most part over consoles. Like, personally, I love PC games way more. You know why? Because there are discounts. Prices go down. Shit doesn't stay at $60 forever. It goes down. Which is why some people, like, for example, myself included, I'm not going to buy Cyberpunk right away. I'm going to wait until Cyberpunk is cheaper, which it will be, okay? There are already some websites that have discounts on it in Sweden. So why would I buy it full price? Now, that's the problem with Nintendo is they force people to buy shit full price. They even... They even forbid they even banned the sale of like nintendo game codes right so the only way to get a game a game code now or you know only way to get it is through the exact same price or go to the eShop and f you buy it with your credit card like i genuinely do just hate nintendo when it comes to the business practices like they just have some weird ass business practices okay just really bullshit i mean free free melee free melee there you go Free melee, okay? They just—they're just assholes in in some sense of the word. They are assholes, okay? Just an asshole, uh, you know, uh, legal department. I get they have to protect their IPs and shit, you know, stuff like that. But like, they're just things they do that are just unnecessary, okay? Just insanely unnecessary, and I hate it. And pricing is one of the things. Now I'm just confused. What is this? Why do you have a commercial for this? It just doesn't make any sense. It's two years old. Why would you promote it now? Where is Sword and Shield? Like, just think about this for a minute with me, guys. Why aren't you not supposed? Why aren't you like promoting? Why aren't you promoting Sword and Shield's DLC right now? Uh, don't you want more people to buy that? I mean, from a business decision, isn't that the smarter thing? Unless you're trying to promote this 
because you know what's coming next, which might be another Let's Go game. So you're trying to get people to buy the previous ones so they can connect it with the next one, and you're trying to get them to buy the Pokeball Plus because they will be able to use the Pokeball Plus on the next one as well. So you're trying to sell as many of these as possible before you put out the next one, so you have to rebuy it again. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's your choice here, but I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I am genuinely just, a, like, kind of not, not annoyed. I'm just annoyed at the pricing for the most part. Like, that's the only thing that annoys me. Just the price staying the same. That's the BS that I just can't stand. But it's not, that's not the general issue, like, issue here. My issue is, what's going on? I want to know. What's the deal? Why is this being, being put out there? I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.